So I never bench press. Why? Well, there's a bunch of reasons. Anatomically, physiologically, biomechanically, why the bench press is not a good chest exercise. And I'm gonna explain exactly why with facts. Before I do that, please go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and the bell notification icon so you can be notified when I drop more science-based training and diet tips. So why don't I bench press? Well, there's a couple of reasons. If you look at the basic anatomy of your chest muscles, the bench press doesn't make any sense because the primary function of your pecs is humeral adduction. Bring your arm from outside to in. But when you are doing a bench press, you're not getting any humeral adduction at all. It just doesn't optimally contract and load the chest muscles. The second reason has to do with the resistance curve. You know, if you are training to failure, which you should be for optimal muscle stimulation, you notice that when you're doing a bench press, you're going to often get stuck at the bottom. This is a mechanical sticking point that you may perceive as muscle failure, but it's not. A lot of the times on the bench press, when you get stuck at the bottom, it's not because you achieved an aggressive level of inroad and fatigue. It's because the amount of force your muscles can produce throughout a range of motion changes. But with the bench press, it's the same amount of load throughout the entire range of motion. So when you are in the bottom position, you're placing your chest in a position of passive insufficiency, a stretch position, where the actin and myosin filaments are so far apart that they can't produce much force, but you're getting a huge amount of load in that position. The problem is you're gonna get stuck. You're gonna perceive this as muscle failure when really it's just called a sticking point, a position where the resistance profile and the strength curve of the particular muscle group or movement do not match. So there's a couple reasons why bench press is terrible. Another reason is if you are loading your muscle in passive insufficiency, you're, gonna, you're going to be loading the external rotators, especially your rotator cuff, in a very weak position. So if you're bringing the bar all the way down to your chest, eventually you will almost certainly get shoulder pain. And in worst case scenario, tear your rotator cuff. So the bench press, it's not that effective because it doesn't, it doesn't perform humeral adduction. It's not safe because you're loading your external rotators in passive insufficiency. And it's not very efficient because you can be appearing to achieve momentary muscle failure, but you're really hitting a sticking point, which means you're really not getting the optimal stimulus for your chest muscles. So some better options than a dumb bench press is gonna be just a converging chest press, you know, like a hammer strength plate loaded, um, a Nautilus machine, a chest press which brings the handles from out to in. So what you're getting is you're getting that horizontal pushing movement, but you're also getting humeral adduction. Another good option is simply a chest fly, a pec deck chest fly. The pec deck is going to provide load throughout the entirety of the range of motion. N not dumbbells. The problem with dumbbells is you're getting pretty much only load and passive insufficiency, which as we just explained is bad and you're getting no load in the contracted position. So two better options on a bench press, a converging chest press or a pec fly pec deck machine. That's my thoughts on bench press. Don't do it. It's stupid. Nobody gives a sh how much you can bench press. It's completely, completely irrelevant. So if you want to actually optimally train your muscle, do it safely and efficiently, choose those two exercises instead. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon because I'm going to do a ton more videos on debunking all the fitness industry BS, lies, nonsense, and helping you learn how to train extremely effectively, save time, and save your joints in the process.